All right, there's only 38 minutes on the camera, so this shouldn't get out of hand. <laughs> anyway, we'll do some more Thunderfoot comments and just finish this up. Uh, Thunder Trolls, we'll call them. The Thunder Trolls. Um, this guy is so mad, he had to take a walk in the woods because his mom threw him out. Yeah, you're well. You're what? You're a lizard. <laughs> yeah. So, well, you know abandonment anyway. Uh, I think it's a lizard. I don't know what the fuck it is. Um you know, incomprehensible icon, that's cool. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, what, whatever. So, so this is what makes the man, right? You can just, whether you live with your mother or not, right? So these are your standards. This is the kind of crap you think's important. Um, just for the record, I left home when I was 17 with $20,000 I earned in my pocket. <laughs> so, fuck you. Uh, how much, how much debt do you have, asshole? I don't have any. Uh, alternate version here. So I went to this, nothing. So it doesn't work. I don't know whether it's YouTube's fault or what, but you just can't go anywhere. I think it makes more sense. Yeah, well, it's, it's two hours ago and it's not there, so I don't know what I can, what can I say? I will go look for uh, amendum videos or something. Uh, wow. Are you an adult who still picks on people for being a nerd? Go back to high school. Well, actually, in high school, I was kind of famous for reforming nerds. Because I was sort of a nerd, right? Except I was cool. I wasn't a fucking nerd nerd. Um, and so, yeah, I used to hang out in the resource center, you know, where the, where the one, the first computer uh, the high school ever had. I was the guy on it first. Um, so that's pretty nerdy, right? And, uh, yeah, but, I, you know, I, I hung out with these nerds and I told them, I said, God, what the fuck's wrong with you? I mean, you know, get rid of that stupid belt. You know, wear your pants where they're supposed to be. And actually, don't buy clothes. Don't let your mother buy you clothes from J.C. Penny, you fucking cunt. So, yeah, I was always trying to reform these fuckers. Because they weren't, you know, they weren't gay. They weren't homosexual. But I was just trying to explain to them, you know, women don't really go for gay guys. They really don't. You know, all the bad side of gay. They like kinky gay, but they don't like fucking gay in all the bad ways. And nerds are pretty much just... You know, I mean, it's like Mama's Boy written all over them. Anyway, well, I sort of pointed that out with Thunderfoot, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, every woman I have known uh, in an intimate manner has a horror story two or three. I bet they do, raving lunatic. You know, that's somehow relevant to this quote. Um, I really hope you live out in the woods and stay out there because fuck if I want someone like you around children. Well, again, why would I want to be around children? So, yeah, I have to wonder about you. You want to be around children. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. And you're this kind of, well, whatever, let's, let's, let's get to it. Are women at all? So, how is this related to the quote again? You look like a serial rapist who smoked 20 pounds of meth. Okay. I'm satisfied with this look, so maybe this is like advice to people. Um, <laughs> you know... Uh, but, but, I, yeah, so I look like a, I mean, even that's kind of funny, right? Serial rapist, you'd bring up serial rapist, because that's the accusation being made by women t telling their honest story, and you don't have an honest story you're telling. You don't, what, what's your evidence? Oh, I look like one. So that's all I have to do is look like one, and I can say that up publicly. So, so if, if PZ Myers made a video just saying, this Schumer guy, whatever the fuck his name is, <laughs> looks like a serial rapist to me. I mean, he looks, it's all over him, right? He looks like a serial rapist and a guy who does meth. That would have been okay. He could publish that blog. But he can't publish a blog referencing women telling their story. That's not okay because women are lying cunts. And they're not allowed to tell their story. Okay, I got gotcha. you. You really do suck. Wow, this guy's fucking insane. Oh, so he had to have two comments because, yeah. <laughs> whatever, what, uh, whatever. Uh, I am getting motion sickness from watching this. Well, gee, that's just too bad. It's the nature of walk and talk videos. You don't like that format, don't watch the videos. But there's really not a whole lot I can do about it, so fuck you. Are you going to the place where you buried the bodies? And I thought the uh, Hobbit and L-O-T-R had pointless walking. I don't know. Sorry, I can't do much with that. So you watch, the, the Hobbit is your reference. That's your your solid rock foundation in life. So you just reference it in videos and L-O-T-R, whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. 
Yeah, you're living in reality, for sure. Uh, obvious troll is obvious. Hmm. I mean, that's, you know, you have to just think about that, right? No image, no icon. Obvious troll is obvious. So I guess he's just pointing out, I'm here, I'm the troll, I'm here, being obvious. Is that, is that what you're saying? I don't know what you're saying. Um, if he is not a Poe, then this is the dumb, eh, the dumbest, most misogynist load of crap I've ever seen on planet Earth. Oh yeah, it's misogynist. Why? Why is that? Oh, that's right. Because I say women should have a free right to tell the truth, to tell honest stories, uh, as free a right as any man has to tell stories, and people are allowed to tell honest stories about what they experience or what they witness. That's American. And you fuckers apparently don't think women should have the same right as men. And you don't think people, in general even maybe, you don't think should have these rights. I doubt it though. I doubt if there was some man making outrageous accusations about a woman, you probably wouldn't give a fuck. And that's just my, my impression, based on the commentary. Every woman I've known has been raped. Yes, by you. We know. Ah, so now you're accusing me of rape. Right? So, you, again, with no evidence. Not even a, you don't even have a story of one of the rapes. You don't even have anything. You're just accusing me of rape with no references at all. No, and no real integrity put on the line, I presume. Right? I, I presume. I mean, I don't want to bother going to his channel, but I bet there's nothing there, right? Uh, by your own words in this video, you should go to jail. So, are you going to turn yourself in? Again, for what? What did I say that was dishonest? You know, anytime you want to answer the question is okay. So, anytime you want to answer the question, that's the fundamental necessary component. You have to, you have to demonstrate the dishonesty. You can't just claim it. You have to demonstrate it. That's the catch of the law. That's why women don't go to the police often, is because they can't prove the rape. It's their word against the man's word. And that, you know, and they were stupid, so they're compromised, and so they can't do anything about it. All they can do is tell their story. And you'd say they're not allowed to do that. And I'd say you're a fucking evil bastard to take that right away from them. Fuck you. You suck. An ultra nerd voice. That's a British accent. Well, that's just, just you know, it's other stuff that comes with it that I don't think is British, generically. I mean, maybe all the British do have some sort of oral difficulties, but whatever. I would think the two are not necessarily mutually exclusive. Another link to a video. Is this one going to work? Oh, I don't know if I want to. Do we really want to bother? No, we'll do it last. We'll do it after the video. We'll come back to that. Uh, mate, I think you might be ill. Please do yourself a favor and get well, then watch the rest of Thunderfoot's videos. No, thank you. Nothing, nothing that you said is even remotely accurate. So it's not accurate when I pointed out that he has absolutely zero, he has zero evidence that PZ Myers posted his blog to get views. He has no evidence to back that accusation up, yet he made the accusation quite clearly. He did everything possible to imply that. Images included as his typical routine of Thunderfoot is to use propaganda images. Remember the Venom Fang X thing? He kept throwing that Batman clip at, you know, against Venom Fang X. So the one time Venom Fang X tried to be a human being, tried to be a regular guy, and he got so fucking crucified for that because everybody used that image to mock him. Because that's the kind of petty weasels you are. You can't make a straight up argument. You always have to make a tainted, disgusting, and distorted argument. Because you're basically malicious liars. And that's why you hate people who tell the truth. And that's what it comes down to, right? You can't tell the truth, so you hate people who do tell the truth. And you want to take away their right to tell the truth. You're an ignorant motherfucker. Well, that's simple enough, thank you. Uh, did this guy even have a point besides hating Thunderfoot? Yes, there was a bunch of points in there. The number one point was Thunderfoot ignorantly said to women, if you don't go to the police, you have no right to claim rape, which is just plain stupid. Why should they have to give up their right to tell a story that happened to them if they don't run to the police who can't do anything about it? 
because there's no way they can read the rapist's mind. She can't take a reliable lie detector test. He can't take one. There's no way to prove the, the who's right and who's wrong. And so there's no way for her to get justice. And you would take away the only thing she has, which is her voice. You take away her right to say it. I mean, God damn, you don't see that how big a fucking motherfucking weasel you are? Well, of course you don't see it. You've got an alien as an icon. You're a bug lover. You fucking idiot. Um, let's see, where was I? Um, he had maybe one point about women not reporting rape because of fear of police corruption, uh, but it was a weak point. I, I didn't say police corruption. I, I said also because they... It's, it's a he said, she said crime, asshole. If that were the case, we wouldn't have any rapists in prison right now. Well, again, do, we, are, do most rapists go to prison? What percentage of rapists end up in prison? Hmm, tiny, tiny percentage, unfortunately. The majority of this video is just him going off on Thunderfoot about how much he hates him. Well, that's not the majority of the video, so you're just lying and how he lied, which he didn't, on P.Z. Myers' blog. Well, he did lie in describing what the blog post was. P.Z. Myers did not accuse Michael Shermer of being a serial rapist. That is not what the blog was about. The blog clearly belonged in the category. He, look, even the ethics thing. He mocked the fact that P.Z. Myers put the, the blog in the category of ethics when in bold type, P.Z. Myers asked the question, what is the right thing to do? You don't think a fucking blog that he puts in bold type the question, what is the right thing to do, doesn't belong in the category ethics? So you're, you're saying this isn't grotesque manipulation and distortion of reality? Come on. I mean, how can you be such a fucking weasel? Both of your parents must have had a weasel gene. Mm, because other experience some block in their cases concerning rape some block in their cases concerning rape. Does that mean it's the case for everyone and no one has the right to accuse you of a crime without evidence and due process? When did you become a child? I don't, I don't know. When did you, where did you learn how to write English? I guess, you know, maybe you are from some other country or something, but I, yeah, I can't make anything out of that. Um, but again, all cases, most cases of rape, sorry. The evidence is in the testimony, moron. Okay, there is, there's, you can't physically prove unconsensual sex. Okay, it's not, the, 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 the semen doesn't come out a different color when it's unconsensual, you retard. Uh, that was one of the funniest videos I've seen. Best nonsensical rants I've heard. The rant that showed no comprehension of what was said in the video being railed against. Well, again, I, you know, I, I don't need to just repeat myself, right? I mean, it's quite clear that I'm making the intelligent, <laughs> rational, reasonable descriptions of the social crime of rape, and Thunderfoot was making a preposterous grotesque characterization of what rape is. Uh, and you seem to be saying that since rape is difficult to get a conviction, victims should not bother with our society's justice system. Well, I, again, I'm, I'm just saying that there's pragmatic, sensible, rational reasons for people not to want to get into a grotesque media circus. I mean, just imagine if it was a local crime here, and I accused some local person of raping me. Uh, you know, you don't think that this is going to be a fucking madhouse crazy shit going on in the media and the whole thing and the, everybody get, picking sides and all that. You don't think there's reason for people to, to just say, oh, fuck, I'm just never going to let that happen again. Fuck men. I mean, I understand why women become lesbians. I would, you people are disgusting. Why would anybody, I would try to convert to a goddamn lesbian if I was a woman because why the fuck would they want to sleep with ignorant motherfuckers like you? and should just anonymously broadcast it publicly through proxies. Well, again, there's, there's all kinds of reason, and there is a, well, I don't know, you know, again, people should have a right to put their integrity on the line. And so P.C. Myers put his integrity on the line, and I think he did it in a disciplined manner. He explained the, two, the choices he had, he explained the grenade in his hand, and he said, this is my two options, really, shut women up, um, are, 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 you know, basically 
uh, you know, uh, or allow women to have a, a, a right to be judged wrong, not to be presumed wrong, to be fairly judged. And so go ahead, fairly judge it. You think you fairly judged their stories? Did you fairly listen to their story and say, okay, there's just not enough here, you're going to have to give me your name and address, or you can't say it, or is there some, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you really don't see the difficulty on this, this fucking disgusting net, why women don't participate here. You, you don't, you can't appreciate any of this. None of this makes sense. You, you really just don't understand being vulnerable, do you? You've lived protected lives, and you just don't know what it's like to have to walk the cliff edge. You're just such cunts. Oh, sorry, women. I don't mean to degrade the cunt. Uh, great rant. What has addled your mind? I don't, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, XD, clean your anus every damn day. LOL, this guy. Well, whatever. That's you could get blocked for that too. But it's just, I mean, even though you're laughing at my jokes, it's irrelevant. It's just mush. I don't give a shit about that. I didn't. I don't. I don't say this shit to be funny anyway. It just comes out that way sometimes. What's the evidence do you show that Thunderfoot lied about PZ Myers? I didn't say he lied. I said he distorted. Didn't I say that? Yeah, I did. Um, and uh, but essentially it's the same thing right I mean it's malicious distortion I mean it's, it's definitely intentional he's doing it because he knows it furthers his propaganda objectives so yeah in a sense it is a lie I mean when, when you say something like you know PC Myers posted the blog to get views and you have zero evidence of that I mean I could just make that accusation for every single Thunderfoot video that has more than 50,000 views I just say he posted it to get views there now, no one has to watch the videos, but there, we can just we just can just discount them because they were all just contrived to get views, right? You just babble on from point to point, and then you yeah, well, I go from point to point exactly. Don't actually support your conclusions. Well, I think I supported them by saying it's known evidentiary fact that uh, most rapes aren't reported to the police, and it's for good reason rational reason. Before you meander into the next point, it is unfortunate that people, mostly women, do get raped, but that is not what that guy was talking about. Well, of course he wasn't talking about because he ignored all of the rapes that take place without some sort of knife wound as evidence. He ignored every rape that takes place based on she said, he said. There are far too many misogynists in the atheist community, as the comments attest to. It's really embarrassing. Yeah, the racists are embarrassing too. It really is embarrassing, um, the atheist community. It always has been, though, to tell you the truth. I mean, Captain Awesome, the amazing atheist, Brett Keen. I mean, the atheist community has always been tainted by a bunch of grotesque, stupid, frivolous assholes. Skeptical heretic. <laughs> Let me go down the list. Um, too many misogynists in the atheist community. Uh, my guess would be too many young men who aren't getting enough and, well, of what they're looking for. Hopefully they'll grow out of it. Well, it doesn't seem they grow out of it. They just seem to just grow into the bottle and become a chabich. Um, so, yeah, it looks like pretty much doom all over. I mean, these are the kind of, you've got to get these basic, basic ethics right when you're young or you're just not going to get them in a lot of respects. I mean, you got it's hard to teach the old dog new tricks. And these guys have learned some really bad tricks. They're just selfish nihilists. And, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's disgusting. It's just so unfortunate how much of the human race really does deserve to be squished by a steamroller. There are far too many misogynists in the atheist community. There are far too many misogynists in general. What general community do you imagine has proportionally fewer misogynists? Methodists, maybe? Yeah, Methodists are pretty gay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but whatever. Uh, there's probably a lot, but uh, yeah, Catholics are pretty misogynist. I have not met a woman who has not been raped. D, look, he's laughing out loud at that. Did you personally see to that? I just said, uh, they told me stories, clearly. I didn't say I witnessed them being raped. I said every woman I've met that I've had intimate uh, contact with has told me intimate personal stories that were very unpleasant. P. 
PZ Myers just wants in, in Rebecca Watson's pants, so he pretends to be her white knight. Okay, so it's okay to do this. Okay, but if you're telling the truth about being raped, you're not okay. Fine. I, I mean, you don't have the opportunity. So even if you're telling the truth, you're to be presumed a liar and be denied your rights. So the fact that most serial killers are white and male, we should just assume all males to be serial killers, and we should put one of those bracelets on their ankles. So we should we track all the white males, because they're obviously serial killers. And we should take away all the necessary rights. You know, serial killers often have knives or some other kind of thing, so let's take away all the knives from the white males. Oh, this asshole again. Yeah, another one of these guys with more than one comment. Exactly, he's a loser trying to get some easy pussy by pretending to believe atheism plus paranoid bullshit. I can get easy pussy. Or easy pussy is easy to get, you dumbass. Um, and if I try to get pussy, it's always try I always try to get the hard to get pussy. So you're an asshole. Uh, he even comes off like a creepy molester in many clips I've seen of him. Uh, fine. Uh, it's okay. Like, again, that might be a good look. I don't know. He's, he's, I mean, you know, frankly, uh, he's all hitting on the f feminists and they're clearly creeping out. Well, go ahead and prove that. I mean, I don't hit on anybody on the internet. Uh, you know, I'm not allowed to say a woman's attractive. Oh, gee, so that's another one on the list of things you can't do on the internet. You can't say a woman's attractive. Oh, okay. He's probably a sociopath or something. Well, yeah, I don't like people, so, and I really don't like you. And I can only wish that you get exactly what you deserve. Exactly what you deserve. I hope there is an ultimate justice. They analyze your psychology, analyze your motivations in life, and give you exactly what you deserve. Which is not going to be a good time. <laughs> it's going to have like a mixing bowl, and you're going to get blended up in the blender blades. and Yeah, because that's exactly you deserve to be twisted into uh, cat food. I opened this, closed it, and then reopened thinking the guy was a Klingon. Disappointed. Well, wow, that's just... Ah, ah! One of those funny jokester kind of people. Ha, ha! I'm tickled and such. No, I'm not. The elf fister dragging his body through the woods. Wood. Again, I, you want to have a body comparison contest? I'm okay with that. You're a fucking scrawny rabbit with buck teeth. Uh, and he had to post it twice? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're really clever. Are you mentally ill? Yeah, yeah it's kind of... You know, the question is, am I mentally abnormal? Yes, I'm highly abnormal. Um, but I actually think, you know, obviously, you know, I think you are the crazy people. This is crazy town because you crazies are in it. Call me crazy. Okay, I will do that. You are crazy. But Thunderfoot's approach of actually making an argument tickles me. Oh, I've already done this one. Yeah, so we're back to the old stuff. F-List has a serious problem. Let's just go through this Poe. That's question mark. I don't even know what that means. Go back to the meds. I can see why you would say this. You're being stupid. I thought i disagree with you. Now we did that in bed. No, no, inbred totally agree as long as three-year-olds are being raped. I consider every man a potential rapist. No, this is stupid. While many rapists go unpunished, many innocent people have their lives destroyed by malicious, unfounded accusations. Yeah, well, that's just the complexity of justice, isn't it? And so your solution to that is to say women aren't allowed. And, and I just think that's an outrageous. They don't have free speech rights. You're going to take away their fundamental constitutional rights. And I think that's outrageous. Fix for the problem. Uh, a man only needs to be accused of rape or to be labeled as one. No conviction is needed to tarnish someone's reputation. Yeah, and there's the same exact thing has to happen um, to um, protect people. You know, that's what that's why they do this stupid thing, you know, where if you're like a, they release pedophiles from prison and they tell everybody in town, hey, the pedophile lives next door. And I don't like it, but the truth is, um, you know, it probably does protect people. Um, to out and out label someone a rapist without due process. Well, again, it, the due process isn't going to change the fact that it's her story against his story. So how is due process going to change anything, asshole? 
So you, you tell 12 people the story and they make a judgment or you tell the world the story and they make a judgment. Well, how's, how's there any difference here? I think you're just being a complete asshole who may have ulterior motives or just wrong end of the story. Well, again, so you're, this, this motivation thing, again, uh, how are you going to resolve that? Oh, so, oh, I see. You're just going to, I'm saying, if, if it, you know, people really should have to ride on their credibility. But again, we can't do that on this medium because then people will look up their name and address and stalk them in real life. We know this happens. We, I, you know, I've gotten like, you know, I can't tell you how many crank calls over the last five years. People will invade. I've had the cops at my house because assholes like you invade my space. Okay. And so, you know, until you fix that problem, you can't require people to have full accountability in this medium because you people are psychotic. You're psychotic trolls in defense of your silly whatever favorite slobbering team. Uh, is slander or more accurately liable what Thunderfoot was referring to? Who cares? You know, you know it's just so stupid. You know, the, the fucking uh, laws were written when there wasn't any such thing as recorded voice or recorded video. So, of course, the word was about the only kind of word that had any permanence, and that was something written. So, of course, that's what the law dealt with, because you couldn't you couldn't make a law about what people said when you couldn't even record what they said. There is some anger here. Duh. People like this get innocent men sent to prison. People like this get innocent men sent to prison. How so? How, how, do, how, does he, how is he vulnerable to being sent to prison because a woman tells her story? How exactly? And an innocent man. How does he get an innocent man to prison? I mean, you know, what a liar you are. Uh, when accusation trumps evidence. Well, again, there is no... What, what else is going to be in a court trial, you stupid fuck? It's going to be her fucking story against his fucking story. You still can't figure that out? God, you people are just too... That's how much they've, they've given no thought to this subject whatsoever. No thought. Tell me about it. My girlfriend is always accusing me of stuff. I try... Um, oh, well, he, this is just another asshole making jokes. Bully... Bullshit, bullshit, damn incorrect. Slander should be legal and punished by jail. Should be illegal. Um, continues to go on for 14 minutes with unsupported slander insults. Well, again, I, where did I lie? I didn't lie, so this is just bullshit. Um, how do these kind of people exist? Yeah, that's a good question. Take your medicine. Yawn. I know there was more, but I gave up after eight minutes. Well, whatever. That's your choice, asshole. And you really can't say anything, can you? Uh, this guy is hilarious, whatever. Who is the strange fellow? He seems awfully upset. Yeah, well, again, so nothing. You don't take anything seriously, right? Until, until it comes for you. So I hope it comes for you. I really do. I hope you get exactly what you deserve. Exactly what you deserve. Why is he walking through the wood? A wood. I mean, it's that's not even a. I mean, it's kind of a gay way to say it. <laughs> what am I looking at? Stoned hippie loses track of stash. Walks through miles of woods to find it. I'm always ashamed to find out most of these Thunderfoot bloggers live in my city. I don't even know what that means. But anyway, not being a native English speaker, I've got to ask: Is this an attempt at satire? Yeah, a guy dressed as a mummy. Uh, no, unfortunately, just a result of inbreeding. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, you wish you had as blue blood as I do. Has anyone ever told you that you look like the kid in the 1980 film Mask? Yeah, you know, he probably could have gotten laid. Uh, Laura Dern, yeah, pretty good. Hey, don't insult Rocky. Rocky is cool. Um, that motherfucking part where he explains what a motherfucker looks like, he... He have solid point. Well, whatever. That Again, that was the joke part of the video, but you don't want to pay attention to the subject, obviously. Watching this, I wonder what happened to him. He seems to have some really disturbed opinions. I don't even know what that means. I have disturbed opinions. Oh, yeah, I'm rational and realize that rape is a little more complicated than just, you know, car theft. So, because there are bad cops... You thought your accusations on to some internet blog and how for some vagary to take care 
of it instead of legal justice system. Well, again, we've already we've already explained the legal justice system can't correct for everything perfectly. It can't. So some of this we have to work out for ourselves. And I'm for people having free speech rights, and you're not. So that's the only difference here. You say women telling the truth should be silenced. I say you can't silence women telling the truth. You can't pre-censor them. That's bullshit. Uh, Wahoo, you are just one mad and sad guy. Fifteen minutes of slander and venting. Well, again, I didn't slander anybody. I hope you feel better now. No, I hope you just keep sucking Thunderfoot's dick. He's a, a propagandist and a, a, a malicious little petty um, bigot. And so be proud of yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you really are dumb. Well, whatever. I have just lost 15 minutes of my life. Well, I hope you lose more of it, to tell you the truth. I hope you get what you deserve. Really, insulting his mom. Jokes about anal warts and small penises. What are you, 12? Sometimes. Um, oh, go and get some breast implants. Then you'll look like oh, the woman you always wanted to be. Yeah, well, I'm about as pro-penis on the internet as you can get. I've probably done more pro-penis vlogs than anybody on the internet. So, fuck you. You're just an idiot. So, Christina... Oh, so you're going to bring up another woman. So, Christina is not a real woman. Sure, she'll be pleased to hear that her friend is saying that about her. LOL. If anyone seemed to be in serious need of a blowjob, it's in Mendham. So, again, you're just vulgar and rude and disgusting, right? What's this about Christina? So again, so he has to bring Christina up in here. Christina is a friend with Amendum. Amendum says Thunderfoot has never met a real woman. Christina is friends. Oh, I didn't say Thunderfoot has never met a real woman. I said he's never had an intimate conversation with a real woman. So you, you know, you, it's another distortion. You can't tell the truth ever, can you, people? Every single time, you have to pervert and manipulate the truth. You can't accurately quote anybody ever. Because you're distortionist and propagandist. I mean, there's a big difference. You know, of course, I've, why would I say Thunderfoot's never met a woman? I saw him in a swimming pool dressed in a woman's bikini without a heart on. Uh, in, a in, in a little pool with two women in bikinis, right? And he fit right in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's the ugly girl. Man, you are really such a m moron. If so unconceivable. I don't even know what that means. This guy is a critical fail. Well, whatever. Yeah, that's... You suck. There. That solves that problem. Uh, you can't spell angry, angry young man like him. I like... I'm a young man. That's good news. Um, phantasmagorical pussy shit. Uh, favorite part. Ephelis, please go back to on your medication. This guy's a little retarded. Uh, let's see. Sure he does. What a pathetic excuse for a human being. Keep watching in hope of a punchline that never came. Oh, look at this guy in cool glasses with the receding hair and shit. Yeah, you're just too cool. Desperation man, they should call you. I have not met a woman to tell you the truth that hasn't been nearly or completely raped. I have not met a woman to tell you the truth. Okay, that hasn't been nearly or completely raped. Uh, what's being nearly raped? You don't, you don't really understand how you can molest a woman, you know what I mean? You can grab parts of her and touch things and rub your stuff and do stuff, shove your junk in their face or something. You don't understand that there's lots of different ways to have sex except for uh, beyond just vaginal intercourse. Oh, what a retard. Wow, I really trust your opinion after that pathetic rant. Not. You basically described your own behavior and mentality. I feel better and safer when people like you aren't around. Well, I would feel really great if you weren't around also. So, yeah, as soon as this... Hey, Mr. Steamroller. Universal Steamroller. Here's a good target for you. Horse eye. Uh, I have not a minute to rate. Uh, where do you live? What kind of places are you meeting these women? Uh, it's called America, the land of the horse heads. Uh, called men. Uh, I can see he really took some time to formulate a coherent argument. Yeah, I made a video, asshole, on a video sharing site. Yeah. With this formidable intellect cutting into the real crux of the matter. Yes. Propaganda, um, 
Thunderfoot's video was entirely just propaganda on an incredibly sensitive subject where he was basically advocating that women should be pre-censored. They don't have a right to tell the truth. I am left speechless. I am also left heartless and soulless. And I find it awful and disgusting that I have to live on a planet with fucking shit like you. It makes me want to vomit projectily. Uh, I wish my vomit was, you know, a much more corrosive acid. Uh, this video is point, this video is point missing at its finest. Well, anyway, pol politically correct self-righteous bullshit and bullying by someone who can't stand skepticism when it is applied to their dogma. Uh, fuck. Fat, beach-hearted, receding hair, fuckwit. I mean, what, what the hell is this shit? I, I mean, you know, what dogma? What's my dogma, asshole? The dogma of rape is a serious social crime. That rape is hard to um, find some perfectly just way to resolve and that 